Hey kids, welcome back to Creativity with Mr. B. Every time we're together, I'll show you a skill, then you'll practice that skill and create on your own. I'm excited about what we can create together. Robots are always super fun to think about. There are so many different kinds of robots in movies, cartoons, and books. Which robot character is your favorite? Pause the video and discuss. Today, we'll have a chance to make our very own robot from recycled materials in our homes. Since we all live in different places and have different materials, your robot may look very different than mine. That's okay. In fact, it's more than okay. That's how it should be. Our creations can be just as unique as we are. Today, we'll use shape, form, line, and color to make our recycled robots. Be on the lookout for these elements while you're creating. Are you excited to make some robots? I know I am. Let's get started. For materials, my hope is that you'll be inspired and use what's available to you at home. A lot of us have empty toilet paper rolls, so I'll use those for my robot body. If you don't have any empty toilet paper rolls, a milk carton or a small box will work as well. If you have some temper or acrylic paints, you can use those to decorate the base color of your robot. If not, you can always use aluminum foil or construction paper to wrap around your robot. For arms, I'm using some straws. You could also use pipe cleaners or popsicle sticks. For eyes, dials, screens, levers, and other robot details, I'll draw my items on paper cut them out, and glue them on with white glue. You may need crayons, markers, or even paint to add color to these paper details. For some extra help, there's a sheet linked in the description of the video with robo details for you to download, print, and add to your robot. For an extra fancy robot, use bottle lids to add wheels. If there's a grown-up around, you may want to try to use a hot glue gun to make your robot building go even faster. Gather your recycled materials. Brainstorm what items could be used on your robot. Does a straw make a good robot body? Probably not. What would work better? That's right, the empty toilet paper roll will make an excellent robot body. Next, cover your robot's body with paint, or wrap it in paper, or even wrap it in aluminum foil. Plan out your robot body details. What kind of eyes will your robot have? What about its arms? Will it have any controls or buttons that you decorate with? Remember, you can always go to that PDF linked in the description of the video for more ideas of what to add to your robot. Glue details onto your robot. Add extra details. such as wheels, wings, and propellers. Anything you can imagine. Use as many materials as possible in fun and creative ways. When you're done, take a second to reflect and look for the elements of art in your robot creation. Are there any lines? Where do you see form?
How did you use color? What shapes can you recognize? Yes, we did it. I hope you had fun making an awesome recycled robot. Here's what my robots look like now that they're finished. Be sure to share your art with your teachers, family, and friends. Keep on creating, and I'll see you back here real soon on Creativity with Mr. B.